Okay, today we're gonna to start the first episode, the very first episode of why your personal trainer needs a personal trainer. So, most people have been working out, you know, they go to the gym and they get to the gym and they don't know what the hell to do, what to start off with. Here's the simplest, easiest thing. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Um, it's really simple, it's called a treadmill and most gyms have them. And the problem is why your personal trainer needs a personal trainer is most personal trainers don't even know how to get on the treadmill correctly. So let's approach the treadmill right now. We're gonna start with this little treadmill right here. This is a Cybex. I think it's a 640. All right. Now, you see these two guardrails. There's one guardrail here. There's one guardrail here. Why would they have those on the side? Hmm, why are those there? That's really weird. Maybe because you're supposed to step on those. Yes, you're supposed to step on them. This is the proper way to get on a non-moving treadmill. Okay. 99% uh, of your personal trainers are gonna get on the actual belt, which is in the middle, and most people at the gym. Guess what? I'm not supposed to do that. Guess what that does? That puts pressure and wear on the belt. And if the belt just happened to start and you hit it at nine, because some of these have settings where you can start at nine, 10, or 11 speed, you go flying off. What if you're a kid? You're just, you hit the button by accident. It happened to my mom. Destroyed her shoulder, went flying off of it. Guess why? She hit the button and it can happen to anyone. Okay, so most treadmills have a quick start. Now, when you're looking at the treadmill, What's that button say? Quick start. Now this is the Cybex, I know. This is an easy machine. So let's switch. Now we're switching to a pre-core. Now, as you can see, quick start. All right, speed. Now, read it. Press quick start or enter. Enter button. You want a core so you can, you can change it like this. So you can actually pick, and I bet 90% of people had no idea that this thing has. All right, again, pretty simple, right? Quick start, that's usually the way you wanna do it. If you wanna go with one of those courses, you're gonna pick your course, then you're gonna hit enter, then you're gonna pick your time, and that's it. Now, the treadmill may also ask you your age and your weight. Now, the reason it's asking you those questions is because if you do a calorie burn, it wants to know exactly where you're gonna burn the most calories. And if your heart rate is going too high for your age and weight. That is the reason why I ask you those. This is why your personal trainer needs a personal trainer. So tune in to all my episodes. This is episode one. And if you wanna ask a question, go ahead. I will not answer it, but I might answer it in a video. So I want some ideas of what other things to ask you. Now this has been my life. I have done this my whole entire life. Since I was about 14 years old, I've been lifting weights. And I have traveled the whole entire world and I have seen more people doing things that they should never be doing in the gym. So, share, like, repost, do whatever you gotta do to get people to see these videos and enjoy. Thank you for watching. I am Paul Deeson.